Welcome back. So we're about to begin week seven of social distancing here in Toronto and working from home. And it's hard. I miss the little things like hugs and high fives from my niece and nephew. I miss random hallway chats with coworkers, but at the same time, I understand why we're doing what we're doing. So May has always been an exciting month. It's my sister, sister-in-law, and nephew's birthday month. It's also Mother's Day here in Canada, and there's a local 10K race that I've been running with my sister and kind of participating on and off for the better part of 10 years uh, this month. So for this month's bullet journal spread, I really wanted to think about happier times like um, my mom's classic bunt cake or having tea with my sister. So this table setting is actually inspired by a a kitchen in an Airbnb that Mike and I stayed at when we were visiting Malmo. I just fell in love with the cute chair, the table, um, and the cute little window view. So I kind of started off with that and then I added a few of my favorite things to remind me of happier times like my mom's classic bun cake or having tea with my sister because I know eventually we'll be able to do those things again. And I also added tulips on the table because those are my sister's favorite flowers. Even though the days are starting to blend together um, and feelings of loneliness and powerlessness have been lingering more often than not. Um, I keep reminding myself that we're all in this together and that this moment, like so many other difficult ones, will pass. So if you're struggling, uh, I hear you. And it's been, uh, it's a tough time for all of us for different reasons.
roses. I thought it'd be fun to paint little flowery rose things on the teapot and um, creamer and sugar. It was a little more difficult than I thought it would be, so they ended up kind of looking like blobs. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the calendar, um, I continued on with the theme of trying to incorporate the calendar into some kind of drawing. Um, and this month I decided to draw a window with some really pretty drapes. Um, I'm trying not to spend any money right now um, unnecessarily, but Buying drapes for a window is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And since I don't really want to uh, spend money on drapes right now because they can be quite pricey, I decided to live vicariously through my bullet journal and enjoy them in my monthly spread instead. So if I were to buy drapes, I think they'd be this beautiful rosy pink color. And if I had my choice of a curtain rod, it would be this beautiful kind of gold brassy rod like the one I painted here. Another one of my goals this year is to improve my lettering skills. And each month I feel like I get a little bit better, but you'll see on the next page that um, there's definitely a difference when I spend a lot of time up front um, and work slowly versus when I try to speed things up. Okay, moving on to the habit tracker. So I decided to um, keep the general layout uh, just because, like I said in some of my previous videos, the layout works for me. And despite how boring it looks like now, um, once I actually fill it in with different colors, I find that it's um, it looks a lot nicer and this month I decided to add in a sleep tracker um, with the days blending together and work leading into personal life and things like that I'm just finding my schedule is a bit all over the place and my sleep is all over the place as well so I'm curious to track how many hours I'm actually getting especially during the week and I picked this quote, um, I actually picked another quote from Rumi, but um, I came across this at some point when I was just double checking the quote itself and it really spoke to me um, because I do feel really tired and I do feel like I've reached um, 
my limit sometimes in terms of this social distancing, but uh, the quote just made me feel like, I guess it just made me feel a little motivated to, to stick with it. I always find my last page gets the least amount of attention. I At this point, I wasn't really sure where I was going. Um, so I started with a few pink um, splashes of paint. And then as I was filling in the numbers, um, I realized I made a mistake. And the only way I really could think of fixing it was to attempt to block it out and paint over the numbers in gold. Um, I actually started a gratitude log last month and it's just my attempt at um, trying to be more positive and remember that despite how difficult things are, there's always um, a silver lining and there's always something to be grateful for. Okay, time for the final flip through. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and joining me today. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this month and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.